Imagine if anyone could become a supersonic fighter jet pilot for a day. Guess where this is possible? The only place on Earth is here. This is one of the oldest aircraft building plants in the world. It is located not far from Moscow in Russia and interestingly has its own name which is Falcon in English. Since the 1930s, it has produced almost every model of MiG warbird that you've seen in documentaries, on the internet or in the air. From here, MiGs are dispatched to the air forces of many countries all over the world. This Falcon is still on duty. This means that every single visit here is an exclusive journey. Today, MiG Flug's client, Josh Kartu, a sports car test driver, will be flying a MiG-29. They're very proud of their heritage. They're not just going to let you suit up, grab a helmet, climb into a MiG-29 without telling you all about the history of the place. And honestly, it's not a problem at all because the history of the place is absolutely unbelievable. A medical clearance makes sure that Josh is feeling good and that the flight is to be performed as scheduled. That should work. Today's edge of space flight will involve traveling at 1.8 times the speed of sound and climbing up into the stratosphere to an altitude of 60,000 feet. This is almost double the height and speed of any commercial airliner. Pilots wear a high altitude suit which is designed to prevent any injuries in the event of an ejection. Hello, hi, my name is Sergei. Nice to meet you, Josh. Nice to meet you. After takeoff, we climb uh, 12,000 meters. When we reach 12,000, we make left turn to the heading of acceleration. I'm switch on the afterburning mode of engines, and we start to accelerate. We will accelerate Mach number 1.7. When we reach, uh, we can climb altitude, and uh, we will try to uh, climb maximum altitude, uh, it will be, I think, uh, more than uh, 17,000 meters. On the maximum altitude, you can see to the sky up and right. We get to see the stars? Yes, see the stars and curve of Earth. In the middle of the day? Yes. Amazing. When we reach, I make half roll and you can see again. The curvature of the yes. Earth? Yes, and we uh, start to descend. Okay. When we descend uh, and reach uh, 10,000 meters, we uh, can uh, <clears throat> start to make aerobatic. Initially, I will start G approximately 3, 3.5. And after that, I will ask you, what about G more than 6? Yeah. If you let me, we can make G 7, maybe 8, maybe 9. Time to meet the bird, which for the next 50 minutes will be the only fulcrum in the sky. Indicate air speed in kilometers per hour, multiply 100. Yeah. 100, 200, 250, right. 500, 800, 1,000, 1,050. Right. 1, in our flight, it will be maximum approximately 1,050. It right. will be maximum. 1,050? Yes. But true speed it will be 1,850. Oh, okay. And look 
to the sky now. anything in the world could compare with that. Nothing I've done so far comes even close. I mean, that was crazy. How many G's did we do? Almost eight G's. Yeah, that's good enough for me. <laughs> it was really something.